Hey what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 10.1 that is the P5113 version and don't worry I'm going to guide you through this entire process. First things first, you have to make sure you have all the files. Firstly you have to make sure that you have this USB driver you download it from this official Samsung site and you click on the, the blue link here and don't worry I'm pointing the mouse at every place and just make sure to follow all my steps. So as you can see, first things first, you have to install the Samsung USB driver that you have downloaded from the original Samsung site, which I just showed you before. Then go to where you've downloaded it, double click on it and make sure you finish installing it. This is the website. And also you have to open this website, which guides you to the entire routing process. And firstly, I want to give a shout out to the guy who wrote this to Droid Gator who wrote this website and has made this routing process possible to us. So shout out to him and thank you so much, Droid Gator. So now the, these are all the steps carefully. So make sure you read them carefully and I've written them step by step. Firstly, you have to make sure you have the drivers installed, then make sure you have Odin and all the necessary things. Now, first things first, you have to make sure that you download this Odin tool from this location and the CF auto route file from that location. Then you have to make sure you enable USB de debugging on your tab and you have to make sure that your, your tab has a good battery charge and it does not show low battery warning. And most importantly, you have to connect, connect your Odin PC software and to check the versions of both the softwares and make sure they are good. Now, now let's start the routing process. Also, you have to remember the, what is the volume button, a volume up button and the volume down button. I will show you that after some time, don't worry. And make sure you follow all the steps carefully and follow me on the screen too. Okay, so now let's begin. Let's just minimize this and make sure you keep all your things that you've downloaded organized like I have. This is the file that I'm going to need and this is the Odin software that I'm going to use. Okay, so now first things first. Okay, so now first, you have to, first what you have to do is make sure you enable USB, USB debugging. Okay, so this is my tab. You have to go into settings and you have to go right down to developer options. Sorry, first of all, make sure you have clicked on build number many times till you get a developer options. That's quite normal. Sorry. Then you have to make sure you enable USB debugging. This is very important. This is really important and it makes the routine process possible. So make sure you enable that and don't be foolish like, like me. I didn't enable it the first time and I got screwed. Okay, so now make sure you clear everything, clear the RAM, it was foolish, you don't need to do that. Then make sure you power off your tab till it shuts down fully. Okay, so now here is it. Now make sure you do the right process. Hold the, the, the power button and the volume down button. The volume down button is the button which is far away from the power button. Hold it for a few seconds while it's off and you will get this screen. Then as you can see, volume up is to exit the download process, volume down is to continue. This is volume down button, which is close to the power button. So make sure you click that. And as you can see, it has entered Odin mode slash download mode. So now you're good to go. Now, what you have to do next is you, you're going to have to open Odin as administrator. So go to the place where you've downloaded Odin. And firstly, I will also remind you again that make sure you have installed all those drivers, which I showed you before. Now go ahead and open Odin as administrator. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, there. Now, secondly, what you have to do is if you are going to have to plug your tablet into the PC like this, come on, there we go. Okay, finally, then now Odin will try to detect your tab in a few seconds and just keep your cross. And if you downloaded the, those USB drivers, install them correctly, you will have no, no problem. And I'll show you what comes. A message should come as added and so on and your com port number, all that shit comes nah. and so on. And you have to also make sure you select this CF auto root file. I'm going to show you how to do it in a while. Don't worry. Now, firstly, when you, while your tab is connected and in download mode, you're going to have to click on PDA. That's right, PDA. And make sure you have, okay. I'm going to show you this again. Go to CF auto root and click on this file. Then you can see all those text. And now this is the most important part. If you see that blue box known as com means it's going perfectly well and it's going, it's right. Up till now it's right. 
and you're good to go as you can see this is the file you go in and you once again I'm showing it to you so that you make no errors of course humans are not perfect okay so now moving on you now now after that you have to make sure that you check reset time and auto re reboot and uncheck partition I'm gonna show you a enable reset time which is only enabled enable auto reboot which is only enabled and do not enable repartition which is not already enabled it says default so make sure you do this this is really really important and so that your tab doesn't get bricked okay so now as you've done make sure you do double cross checks and all that stuff and check if your stuff is good after you see that everything is done and you're good to go you're good to move on to the next step then you can just go ahead and click on start now while this process is being done make sure you, you, you do not disconnect your tab or your tab may get bricked and you may never able to use it again now it will show you all the screens it will it will show you this screen on the tab which means it's going perfectly it's going perfectly well and wow i, I love the side of this i love hacking and i love stuff ooh la la okay so now it's showing you reset it's showing you the process is being done so far so good it'll take a couple of minutes not much takes a really short time and that's really good no one likes to waste time okay if you get this error as usb drive not recognized it's completely fine it's completely normal as long as you get this pass dialog you will i'll show you in a second okay it should have right away pass dialog and it didn't even take long it, it just came instantly in a few minutes and it turned green both the boxes are green which means it is good now you can just exit now, now once your tab restarts you, you can go ahead and check for super su file if you see the super su file it means your routing process is complete also if you want to double cross check you can go ahead and install this root checker app shout out to the guy who made the app you can go ahead and install it and grant request congratulations root access is installed heck yeah it's done now that's happiness and it's really good this process is done and that's a thumbs up and that's how you do it now go ahead and root your own device also thank you so much for watching this video and i want to give a shout out to everyone who has helped me and for all those websites you shout out to them thank you so much again also i want to show you something else if you want to exit the order and download more on your tab that is if you change your mind later for some reasons on this screen you can just go ahead and hold the power button for about five to six to seven seconds and your tab will automatically just shut off and you can restart it again it's not a problem don't worry Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.